A proposal to restructure the Elk Grove Village School District has a community divided. Some of the changes include moving students to different schools based on their grade level, according to school officials, in the name of equity. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez spoke with parents and educators on both sides of the debate. In the Serene Park at Elk Grove Village, this group of parents meets often to discuss a hotly debated school proposal. Like, how is this going to work for parents? They oppose a plan by the Community Consolidated School District 59 to, among other changes, reconfigure its schools into grade level centers where schools would house grades K through 2 and others 3 through 5 instead of the traditional K through 5 model. It feels very rushed. Cheryl Nowak is one of these moms. Her son has special needs. She says for him, a change of schools would mean disruption. I moved here for the schools. I'm close enough where we can walk and to be told my child has to take a bus and go somewhere else, what was the point of coming here? It's a concern that the district's superintendent, Terry Bresnahan, doesn't take lightly. These are really difficult decisions to be made. These are ones that, again, draw out a lot of emotional reactions plans that people have made within their communities. But the greater goal of the proposal, she says, is to create equity amongst the students in this district, especially after a study they conducted found eight areas where there are disparities among the schools, including diversity, commuting times, and declining enrollment. What we're trying to build is a solution that is in the best long-term interest of the whole community so that we don't have to continue to further move marginalized groups of students um, within our system. Erin Schneider, a teacher and parent, agrees. I think it would create um, more equitable class sizes as well, so that some buildings aren't having huge classes and others are having small classes. The proposal is still in talks with at least two more meetings scheduled in the matter and will ultimately need to be approved by the Education Board. So my hope is that um, by November, we have a vote by the board, but that maybe we need to take a little bit more time. Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Parents and the superintendent agree it's a complicated issue. They will have another meeting September 22nd. We have a breakdown of this proposal on our website, cbschicago.com.